Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing an educational commentary on season five. This is day one of season five. And there's a few changes uh, that, we're, that we're gonna go over. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a stretch here and land in Paradise Palms. I think it's a new major city on the other side of the map. And uh, we can find some of the new things that they added. And I'll explain how that works and just do a regular commentary for season five. Um, quick things to mention is that they nerfed double shotguns. You can no longer, you can still run double shotguns, but there's a delay between the first shot and the second shot when you're using a uh, shotgun. So it's going to take a lot longer to shoot. So it's really not worth running two shotguns. It's really just not worth it at all. You're better off, uh, you're better off just running one shotgun with an SMG, like a silence SMG, tactical SMG, Tommy gun, or running a shotgun, like a tactical or heavy, where you don't really have to swap to another shotgun. You can just keep shooting with that gun or swapping to your AR after your shotgun shot. They also changed the way the, the, uh, the pellets of the shotgun, the spread of the pellets is consistent. It used to be random before, but now it's consistent. So shotguns in general are more consistent now. And they also added these rifts and I'll explain how that works here in a second. So I stretched pretty far away, but we'll still probably find some people landing here, but not too many people. Um, and I'll explain the, uh, the pellet situation here for you when I can. I kind of, since I, did, I spent a lot of time talking, I kind of want to actually get some shields. That way I don't end up uh, getting killed while having spent all that time talking and doing the intro to this commentary. Is somebody in that building? I'm gonna keep my eyes on it. And try to find some minis. I also take the shotgun just so I can kind of show you the difference in the shotgun speed when you're trying to use two shotguns. There's a big shield over there. I'm gonna go ahead and place this pyramid down real quick so I can pop this without getting shot. And it's the quickest way to, to, to pop a shield without having to worry about somebody shooting you in the front or the back. You see that? Just the 93 damage. To that dude with the shotgun 93 damage i feel like i feel like that's something that you really wouldn't see too often uh back then like you could hit 93 like that but a lot of times since the bullet spread was random sometimes you could be aiming at them and you won't really do too much damage uh so the bullet spread it's it's like an x you can see it when you hit a shot but you really can't see it all the wall. but it's like an x so as long as most of your crosshairs aiming at your opponent, you get your you, you have a better chance of doing more damage. Sometimes in the in the previous patch, you can have your crosshair aiming at them, and you'll still do barely any damage because the the randomness of the bullet spread uh, could cause you to miss more shots than you would like to, even though most of your crosshair was on the target. And when it comes to double pumping, there's a delay. That little circle, that little cir circle shows up, so you can't shoot before that circle ends. But that doesn't just apply to pumps; that applies to all shotguns. So double pump, pump tactical, pump heavy. You're not going to be able to shoot the second shot fast enough, so it's not worth running double shotgun. Just, pump, just period. It's not, it's not worth running double shotgun. Um, so that sound right there means somebody used the rift, and I'm gonna go explain what rifts are here in a second. So you guys. Another person just used the rift. I actually don't know how to get to this chest that was here. So you can see that guy is actually flying up. And he's he's entering that rift right there. When he enters it, he gets teleported up in the sky. And then he can like fly down. Uh, and parachute basically. Wherever he wants to. Uh, the thing is, it has limited use. Once it's, once you use it, it, it eventually fades away. So it has limited use. You gotta be smart with it. But it's it's very useful because now, like, let's say I wanna get out of here and the storm is coming in. 
I don't really have to be in a rush because I see that there's there's rifts here. So I don't have to be in a rush. I can just take my time, uh, finish looting, and then I can use one of those rifts and I can actually, for, like from here, I can probably get near Dusty Depot. And they also added uh, these carts that you can use to drive around. I think these are more, more useful in uh, squad games uh, than, than in solos. But like, if you find yourself deep in the storm, you definitely want to want to take that and uh get out of there the reason why i say they're better in squad and duos is because you know the people driving with you can shoot and build but if you're solo there's not really much you can do if you get shot at you have to just jump out of the car uh and you cause a lot of attention to yourself when you're in the car because it's very loud so it's something you want to like not use too often all right let's continue uh, it's probably going to be a pretty low kill commentary, but it's mainly just showcasing some season five changes and talking about the new things that have been added. And as I like master more stuff, more techniques, uh, building techniques, gun techniques, things like that, I can put them in future, uh, future commentaries. All right. So the storm is going to be coming in here soon. I just want to open a couple more chests and then be on my way. I don't even know where this chest is. To be completely honest with you, it's all new to me, so. There you go. Rocket launcher. I guess I'll take it. All right. Let's use this rift. And when you use the rift, you want if you want to go far distance, uh, the best way to use it is to pull the parachute as soon as you can. And to enter the rift, all you have to do is just walk into it. There's no, like command to use. You just walk into it. You fly up. Just parachute over. And you and your teammates can all use one rift, but it will close eventually. After, after being used initially, it will, it will close. So you have a few seconds or whatever to, to all get inside. Pretty handy. You can actually drive a car or a shopping cart into the rift as well, and it will teleport the shopping cart or the car. I'm going to go ahead and grab this Thunderbolt. It's part of the, the challenges. I will complete it while I have the chance. Now, we are very low on materials, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some mats. Because I'm expecting to get into some really good fights here. One guy shooting at me with a grenade launcher. Go ahead and build up. I put a floor over him. He's going to have to jump off the side. I'm going to keep ramping up over him. Keep the high ground. Shock him once. Get over the top. I boxed him in here. Using a lot of mats here. I'm actually going to just go ahead and drop down like this. There you go. I was just looking for the right opportunity to knock him down. Finally got it. Unfortunately, we used a whole lot of mats there on that one guy. If I had traps, uh, he would have been dead um, as soon as I boxed him in. Unfortunately, I did not have traps, so I couldn't couldn't box him in. I mean, I couldn't throw I couldn't throw down traps. So mainly because I wasn't really looting too much. I was just explaining the season five changes. Usually if a fight goes on too long in a building fight, um, even if I have the high ground or if I have the low ground in a building fight, I'm going to look for ways to try to knock them down uh, because you really got to finish those fights quick. If you take too long, someone else is going to come and knock it down, hit you with C4. Someone sniped at me. Uh, they've got a decent angle, most likely, because I was pretty low ground and I still got sniped at. I'm trying to move out of here. Reason being is I still don't have any mats to my name, so I'm gonna try to get down here and get to these trees. Over here, I can probably get three, four hundred wood rather quickly. I need the brick. 
That guy's gonna have to move here, by the way, because the circle is moving in this direction. So I don't want to get caught too low to the ground over here. And I also shouldn't be breaking these trees all the way because it's gonna give away my location. So I'm just gonna get them down to 50 health. Keep moving. I'll eventually engage once once he's in a more uh, like once he's in a better spot for me to engage. I'm gonna move over to crates. Sometimes people do a really poor job of breaking the, the wood stacks and the crates. Some guy's building a one by one up top over there. You see how slow he's building his one by one. Um, so it's, it doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad player, right? Even even like really good players sometimes might just be taking their time or whatever. But all right, this guy's moving in here now. Don't know why I went for that shot. Got a clean shot on him. He's hitting me from the low ground, but I'm gonna wrap around. Actually, I'm gonna get over the top right here. It's really important to remember what belongs to you and what doesn't. I put this floor down here because I was trying to catch him as he ramped up to me. So I remember that that floor belonged to me. So as I was going down, I already knew that that was gonna be my floor. Uh, going back to what I was saying, uh, when it comes to like people building one by ones, this guy over here took such a long time building his one by one. That doesn't necessarily mean he's bad, but a lot of times good players will be building their one by ones quickly. And this guy was taking a really long time to build his one by one. So just judging based off that, it might mean that we'll have like an easy chance to uh, push him. It's not guaranteed though. You never want to underestimate your opponent. But sometimes that can give you a indication of how things are going to be. He got a good hit on me. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and hold my ground right here real quick. Start popping these minis. He's coming over the top. I'm actually going to bring him down. That didn't work. I was going to try to knock him down and put a trap down. That didn't, didn't really work. He's going he's gonna to go from the top and start shooting at me. I'm going to go through. Now I have high ground on him. Seems like he's dropping down. He might be trying to be breaking things. Yeah, that's probably what he's doing. This is mine, so I can actually just open this up and shoot a rocket into them. Turn around, get that clean shot. As you can see, like, okay, so here's here's my uh, initial reaction to like the pump shotgun in the current state. Obviously, since you can't run two shotguns, the pump is very weak because the pump is it has the slow pullout. Uh, so it's going to be very slow shotgun, which makes it undesirable um, unless you're following up with an SMG or AR. But what I will say is that with the changes that were made, the, the pump is actually, take a shot real quick, the pump is actually like pretty consistent. I mean, all shotguns are, but the pump was very inconsistent before this patch. And now it's a little more consistent. I feel more like confident that if I have a good shot on somebody and I take it, that I'll be able to... To hit that shot for good for good damage. That guy's bounce padding away. Those guys are fighting. I'm gonna go ahead and move in on them. Somehow I just got fall damage credit for some for one of them. I'm pretty sure. Got a launch pad. I'm actually gonna use the launch pad because I do I, I don't want to miss out on this fight. Um He's running away. The other guy's over here. Go ahead and you see, like, the damage is not too bad. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm actually getting getting stuff done with the damage. All right, this guy's shooting me. This guy's doing a good job of staying on top of me. He just let me... He, he, he just gave up the high ground to get on top. Gotta be careful. At this point, it's safe for me to drop down.
Am I rocket on ready? Don't know what his plans are. Just gotta be safe. I think he's trying to bring it down. Gotta watch my sides because he might be trying to edit out the side. That's probably what he's doing. He just tried to swap to a tactical shotgun after shooting his pump. I don't think he read the patch notes. You see, you notice how he uh, shot the pump, swapped to a tactical, and couldn't follow up the shot. And that's because they uh, they removed the ability to to do that. So he needs to read the patch notes. You all should be reading the patch notes. All right. So not a lot of materials left. I'm going to be moving over here. These guys are already fighting. These are the last two guys. I'll see what I can do to just get an easy cleanup on them. Uh, that guy's pushing up and this guy's rocketing in the back. I will sneak behind this guy and just hit him with a quick rocket followed by a pop sh pump shotgun. I'm going to hit this guy with a sniper. I gotta put pressure on him right here. I, I could loot the other guy, but it's best right now to keep pressure on him and not let him get up. Because if I let him get up, it might be problems. And uh, I don't want that to happen. I don't want no problems, man. So he's, he's gonna be ramping up. That's okay. I'm just gonna make him think that I'm not pressuring him here. And with like the with the way, you know, sh rockets work now, they're a lot better. So, as you can see, they are a lot better. One more shot and he's dead. And he's trapped. And he killed himself, unfortunately, so we didn't get the kill there. But GG. Guys. Season 5. Not bad. First try. Getting a quick win. Showing off some of the new features. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't let us get the trap kill finish. He ended up blowing himself up, but he was dead anyways. So, new victory screen, some new changes. I'm really excited for Season 5 of Fortnite, guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, like the video and subscribe to the channel.